Hey guys, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Coats, coat sensitive SPF 40 sunscreen. I'm gonna keep this short because there's not a lot of ingredients to talk about in this, but I think I have found one of my holy grail sunscreens. I'm really excited to talk about this in a short period of time, but I'm impressed, okay? So we have a pure physical blocking sunscreen that is mineral-based, zinc oxide, 20% sunscreen, has no octanoxate mixed in to make it lightweight like Dermatology, which is a great sunscreen, Elta MD UV Clear. A lot of those um, sunscreens have to be, have, they have a chemical UV filter like octanoxate to kind of help you bl um, blend in the zinc better so it doesn't leave you with a white cast. So this whole year together, we have been looking for sunscreen that are non-irritating, good for sensitive skin, rubs in well with very little cast. If you wanna look at something with a lot of cast, look at my CeraVe Hydrating uh, Sunscreen uh, review on that. And also affordability, that's another thing. A lot of these sunscreens that are really nice, like La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50, Supergroup, all of those things, are, all of those brands are nice, but they have but they're all $36 about for a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. Uh, this being, I bought this on Amazon with my own money, $20, $22 for a three and a half fluid ounce bottle of a mineral based sunscreen. So just keep that in mind. This is double the amount versus Elta MD versus Dermatology versus La Roche Posay and this is 20 bucks, okay? So I'm gonna squirt this out in the back of my hand. A little beat up. I'm, so it comes out thick and you're like, whoa, what did I get myself into? Put a little too much there. But look how it rubs in so well. I'm gonna start putting some on my face here. Whoa, it's a lot there too. So good amount. You're like, uh oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Dracula when I walk outside. But check this out. It's a magic trick. Put it on my kids. Put it on my eyelids. And I don't feel any issues with it getting on my mask making it look really white or if you know this has no tint obviously so you don't have to worry about staining the inside of your mask and look how it rubs in what is this sorcery here look at that i don't i, I can't see myself right now but i'm pretty sure i'm very confident that i don't have a white cast on my face and so i am really impressed by this sunscreen like this is it guys this is what we found the holy grail um, i put this on my kids because again for my children i especially want to keep it purely mineral based and that's more of a personal preference here i know there are a lot of great sunscreens out there like la roche posay makes a children's sunscreen with chemicals in it um, right now we don't know what chemicals can do to us uh, we do know that the ingredients can be absorbed into our bloodstream systemically but in terms of reports of neurotoxicity they're just reports and very rare and i talked to my neurology colleagues again they don't have any um, real concerns at the moment but again i'd rather just put on zinc or titanium on my kids and um, you know i did mention before they look really cute with the sunscreen cast on but this i think they'll appreciate for pictures uh, because this rubs in so well does not irritate their skin if you have eczema compromised skin barrier um, sensitive skin this is your go-to it's also feeling pretty hydrating as well for this winter time um, you know i would say that this is not a luxurious sunscreen by any means because it only has basic ingredients like if you look at the box here um, it has just dimethicone so if you're afraid of silicones and such this does heads up this does have dimethicone um, it has glycerin which is a humectant that draws in water keeps it there um, by the way, I'm not afraid of silicones, but I know somebody had, had commented on my channel that they wanted products without silicone. Uh, this has uh, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, 
which is an antioxidant, fights free radicals, just like vitamin C would. And that's a very common product or common antioxidant in our sunscreens. And I think that's great that they threw it in here. But yeah, in terms of uh, nothing really else jumping at me besides the glycerin and the uh, tocopherol, it doesn't have any of the antioxidants or niacinamide like in our other products. It doesn't have hyaluronic acid. So it's not as moisturizing as say, um, you know, the dermatology, I said it was very good for both um, oily skin and dry skin. I'd say this is kind of in the middle of the road too. I'd say for, um, if you wanted something a little bit more with a matte finish, this isn't um, very mattifying. So maybe this is a little better for dry skin, but if you had oily skin, like for me, um, I have combo skin. I wasn't bothered by using this in the summer. It did. I did use this for several weeks or even months before I came out with this video. And I know a lot of you were waiting for this review and um, yeah, I've just been impressed by it the entire time. This bottle's almost finished too. It's to all, well, it's towards the bottom because I've used it for my kids and myself quite a bit. If you want to use this for the body, this is more economical too. If you want to slather your kids before they go to the park on their arms and shoulders and the back of their necks, this is really nice because you're not going to use up all your sunscreen. It is reef, if you look here on the box, reef friendly, water resistant, uh, no animal testing, preservative free has no scent that I can smell. Um, it's free of fragrances, oils, um, parabens, glutens, and the, the coat says contains only titanium zinc. That's what it uh, stands for. This company was started up by a plastic surgeon, I believe, and I've just been really impressed by this. Uh, it's also water resistant 40 minutes, not the full 80 minutes, but 40 minutes. But this is great, meant for face and body. So I give this actually a nine out of 10. Dr. Sugai skin score, a nine out of 10. Four and a half shakas out of five. Very impressed by it. Pros being affordability, no white cast, mineral base only. So they're not cheating. They're fully achieved the white cast, no white cast goal with just keeping it with just zinc only. It does have some moisturizing factors, which is great for this winter. Um, with the weather getting colder, it is nice and soothing on my face. It's not irritating. It doesn't sting my eyelids at all. It has no strong fragrances. So for those of you who are sensitive to fragrances, this should be your go-to sunscreen. But if you have a really oily face, really oily skin, and you want more of a matte finish, probably not for you then. Um, but if you let it dry for a little bit, man, it's not even that shiny there. I don't know how my face looks. You can be the judge for that. Isn't that kind of cool how, how at first it was really thick zinc base cream that was on my face that I just blended in very nicely. So again, just real uh, quick, SPF, uh, you wanna go for SPF 30 and above. If you want water resistance, this is good for your runs, for going um, doing water play. And then reapply every two hours, regardless of what SPF you end up choosing. Uh, if you did try this sunscreen, uh, please leave some comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, please like the video and I'll see you for more Dr. Sugai reviews. Take care everyone. Peace.